right, I'm going to cover what we did to make these 35s fit on the second gen Tacoma. Uh, definitely had some challenges along the way, but I'm going to go through that with you real quick and hopefully you can do the same. Let's go ahead and get this tire removed in three, two, one. All right, so my daughter made us this really sweet pointer. That way you don't have to look at my hand. You can look at this hand. So let's go ahead and hop in here and take a look at what we did. So the very first thing we did to this truck was we installed the Rough Country Vertex Lift. This is the uh, remote reservoir for the shock with adjustable ride control, and that's worked great. Now, honestly, there were some mixed reviews on Rough Country in general, but I've run them in the past um, on other trucks, and they've always worked well for me, and honestly, this one has been great. You know, washboard trails, uh, places that are best suited for an ATV, you know, they, they perform well. Uh, one thing we had to change were the upper control arms. We went with these JBA high caster upper control arms because the 33s were darn close to the cab. So to fit 35s, we pounded this out a little more and this scooted the tire forward so they could align it and pull all that forward. Uh, seems to be clearancing well. These 35s have only been on for a day. Uh, we're going to get it out on the trail and give it the ultimate test here. All right, one thing that's painful, but you just have to do it, is beating the heck out of your cab right here to smash all this in. I mean, there's there's some nice creases here, um, but you got to do what you got to do. I mean, these fitting 33s is a challenge. Fitting 35s is just, it's an undertaking. And that brings us to the cab mount. A lot of people do a cab mount chop where you, you know, cut this section out. Uh, but we did a cab mount relocate uh, from CFM Industries. And honestly, it's been great. No complaints. And definitely clearances these 35s, no problem. All right, so we went with the Method 17 by 8.5s MR305 NV with a zero millimeter offset. And honestly, these just barely touch the upper control arm and the sway bar at full lock. So, you know, you might want to get something spaced out, you know, maybe a quarter inch. Oop, wrong hand. Let me get the right hand. Maybe a quarter inch uh, because we've got a, just a tiny bit of rub with these 35s here and a tiny bit right there. So I'm, a, I'm probably going to try a wheel spacer and see how that works and definitely do something hub centric. All right, so let's talk about tire choice here. I went with the Milestar Patagonia MT-02. And I'm not an expert in tires, but tires that aren't name brand kind of scare me. Uh, but the reason I went with these is because they have a nice rounded profile. So these are really designed to run between this yellow and the red line. Um, and then the, the edges taper off. So this is the area in the Tacoma where you really start eating away at your cab mount and your cab and your body and what have you. So my thought on these was that I'm gonna pick up this distance here and hopefully just a little more clearance to make sure these suckers don't rub. And so far, it seems like it's working. But once again, foreign tires, non name brand tires, it eh, kind of concerns me, but we will see. Okay, now we're going to cover three things that I would say are absolutely essential that you bring with you the first time you go wheeling on 35s. Oh, yay, more trimming. Um, the first, a good sledgehammer. The second, jigsaw, sawzall, hacksaw, handsaw, whatever you prefer. Third, angle grinder. These collectively should be known as the Tacoma trifecta. 
because you're definitely going to need them to fit 35s. All right, so the final thing I want to talk about, I really don't have any video content for, so we're just going to climb under the truck. Oh, that's a max track mat, by the way. If you uh, like your knees and you don't want to get dirty and uh, you ouch, don't like laying on dirt, then get one of those. Um, gears. The factory gears um, on stock size tires were fine, but uh, 33s, they were... I really didn't have much torque. Um, so I did 529s, and on 529s, uh, with 33s, eh, it was a little tall. Uh, but with 35s and 529s, this is a six-speed manual, by the way, um, I'm going about 65 on the highway, sitting at 2,900 RPM. So 529s, I would say, are a must if you're going to do 35s. Uh, for 33s, I'd say 488s are good, uh, but that's my two cents. <laughs>